Johar, I'm Archana Soring and I'm here at Stockholm Plus 50 at Sweden. And I'm very, very happy to join here at this uh, Stockholm Plus 50, interacting with indigenous people, local communities and young people. And I strongly feel and look up to Stockholm Plus 50 that we are moving towards recognizing the rights of indigenous people and local communities over the land, forest and territories. I strongly emphasize on intersectionality of laws and policy made and meaningful leadership and participation of indigenous people, local communities and young people. As a young people myself and an indigenous woman, I strongly feel that our elders will not be with us. Our indigenous elders will not be with us. We are the bridge of this generation. We need to go back to them, learn from them, so that we have this knowledge and tradition and culture and identity of us for upcoming generation. I strongly feel that indigenous people and local communities should be leaders of climate action processes, decision-making processes, and not victims of the policies. And for me personally, it's been like an effort to nurture our entire generation of people and indigenous people because land, nature is a source of identity, culture and tradition and language. If we lose that, we lose our life and we lose our identity. And I would like to urge the international community that let's work together in respect and solidarity and that's why I feel often when we reach out to indigenous people, we have the tendency to impose our worldview. I think it's really crucial to understand the worldview of indigenous people and local communities. And that's where we'll make difference. Thank you.